All right, so in this video, what we're going to look at is finding the instantaneous rate of change of the function f of x equals 3 over x plus 4 at x equals 1. So you see, as I have drawn to the right, is the black is the graph of the f of x, and the red is the tangent line at x equals 1. So as you can see, it has a negative slope, and it might not be drawn specifically to scale, but it'll be close enough for what we have to do. So... Remember that the derivative, the instantaneous rate of change at 1, is given by this limit. Limit as h approaches 0 of f of 1 plus h minus f of 1 all over h. So off to the side here, let's find the different pieces. So f of 1 plus h would be 3 over 1 plus h plus 4. And no grouping symbols necessary there. But that looks like 3 over... 5 plus h. So I am going to replace that. So we have 3 over 5 plus h. And then f of 1 is 3 over 1 plus 4, which is 3 fifths. And that's all over h. So remember at this point, the key is to simplify. When we do substitute 0 for h, we get 0 over 0, which means, yes, we should try to manipulate the expression and try to cancel something out. Remember that this is the case where we simplify the complex fraction. So we're going to multiply by 5 times 5 plus h, because that is the LCD. And that's going to wipe out the fractions when we distribute. So remember, we're going to distribute. So what we have now is limit h approaches 0. Now when we distribute 5 times 5 plus h to the first fraction, the 5 plus h is crossed out. So we have 3 times 5 minus. When we distribute the 5 times 5 plus h to the second fraction, the 5's cross out. And we have 3 times 5 plus h. And this is all over. Now I'm going to leave the denominator in factored form. Because remember, the goal is to basically get rid of that h that's by itself in the denominator. Not the 5 plus h, h, but this h right here is the one we're going to try to get rid of. Hopefully it cancels out naturally. So we have limit as h approaches 0. 3 times 5 is 15. We simplify the numerator because it's neither completely factored nor is it completely expanded. So we expand and then distribute the negative 3 or the minus 3. So that's minus 15 minus 3h all over... 5h times 5 plus h, and okay, here we go. The 15s cross out, so we have the limit as h approaches 0 of negative 3h over 5h, 5 plus h, and there it is. The h's cancel out, and we have the limit as h approaches 0. Remember, we bring the limit along until we do something with the 0. So we can't just write the expression without the limit if you haven't done the limit yet. Now we're at the point where we can substitute 0 for h. So now I'm going to drop the limit notation and say negative 3 over 5 times 5 plus 0, which is negative 3 over 25. So here again, if you were to graph the function f of x and draw the tangent line when x equals 1, it would have a slope of negative 3 over 25. Thank you for watching.